Hi guys, I'm Nick from Smile Dealers and I'm just going to quickly show you how to put together your photo kiosk. It's pretty simple, there's a few, few steps to do it and I'm going to show you how to do it now. You should have received three items in the mail. One, a steel post like this that the kiosk is going to go on. You should have received a box with these items in it. Extension cord, a computer, a bracket, a Wi-Fi device, a camera and two bags of screws and wing nuts, that type of thing. And finally, you'll have received a kiosk like this, acrylic kiosk, and you can see it comes in three pieces. And we're going to put that together in a, in a second. Okay, the next step is to put together your kiosk head unit. The kiosk head unit comes in three pieces, one, two, three, and what we'll do is put them all together, make kind of a sandwich. Um, your front sheet looks like this, but yours will have the magnum decal on it. Um, and as you can see, it's got a hole here for the camera and a hole here for the computer. This is the middle sheet. Um, you can tell it's the middle one, it's the thickest one. Um, and it's got a hole here once again for the camera and some things for wires and also plugs. And then finally, the back sheet as well. It's got a couple of holes in it. So you if you put them together, you should see that the holes line up. So you can put your finger through there. And then finally, if you grab the front one, they should all cover up. So yeah, from the back, you should see that's going to be uh, where we put a cord. That's going to be for your power button. This will be for some other buttons. And your camera will come through here. And this is what it would look like from the front. Step one for installing the bracket onto the kiosk is like this. Take the back panel. Now the back panel is the one with the four screw holes here and make sure that the countersunk part, which is this funny little hole here, is pointing towards you, and put a screw in like that. So the screw sits nicely there and flush. Then pick the back panel up, put it on your knee, like this, and then we're gonna install the bracket. Uh, now the bracket is this black plastic, uh, black metal thing, sorry, and what you do is you put it on here, like so, um, and then screw on. Now make sure using the smaller wing, and these are using the smaller wing nuts that are in the um, in the bag. So in the bags you have two sets of screws. These are using the smaller ones, and you'll be able to tell because they'll be the ones that fit. Now notice the way it goes up the bracket itself. See here, you've got three holes. The three holes should be pointing upwards towards this. Um, so once again, if you've got the countersunk screws in the countersunk, attach it to the back and make sure the three holes are pointing up. Um, and so this screw here is on the upside of the bracket and you're on your way. And then it's really simple, just screw in the other four screws and we're, all, we're halfway there. So there you go, all four screws are screwed in quite firmly this side facing up with the three bracket, uh, the three holes, and you're good to go. So now you've got your back bracket on. The easiest way to assemble the rest is to put it on your knee. So put it on your knee like this, then grab the middle panel of the kiosk, the thick one, and put it here like this. And just being careful to make sure that these two holes line up and these two holes line up, and then you know you've got things the right way. Right, so this is where it gets a wee bit of fun. So first step, you've got to grab your computer. So the computer comes in here. It's in a few different parts. All you need is this top bit that looks like an iPad. Um, and this is, this is a new Windows 8 tablet for any of you geeks out there. Um, so you put it in here and rest like that. Second thing you've got to do is grab your camera. So your camera's in your camera box. It comes out like this. So camera's obviously got a cable and it's got this flexible arm like this. So what you want to do is put the cable through this little hole here. Hang on, I'm losing the bit here. Put the cable through here. Now I recommend keeping it tidied up like this because this, this cable is like this already. It looks nice and tidy and you'll see, you'll see back. So thread through like this. The cable. Yeah, it takes a wee bit of getting there. Now the camera. The camera's got an extendable arm as you can see like this. Ooh. So extend the whole camera arm like so and put it through the hole like that. 
and you will see that there's a small place here for this for the camera to rest and there you go now you've got your computer and your camera there ready to go rightio last step to the kiosk head unit you have to take the front panel now obviously your front panel will have a nice Mac sticker on again you take it like this and lay it over the top now obviously you can see there's the hole there for the camera and there's a little bit here which uh, guards the on off switch for the computer and then you take these screws now the screws will be in a bag oh wrong bag this one here so you'll see there's about six of these screws and they're quite big with quite big wing nuts and so they're the ones you put in here and you just take you got to line it up now it can take a little bit a little bit of moving around to line everything up put the screw in like this so put the small end of the screw in this end and then flip it up and tighten with this wing nut so just like that so it's pretty pretty easy well, should be pretty easy um, and tighten it on like that make sure it's nice and tight and then you put do the same screw and wing nut into all six of the holes here and that'll create a nice tight enclosure for our camera and our kiosk unit when you're putting this unit together, it can be a bit fiddly getting the screws in and out. So just, you have to mess around with it. We recommend don't do up the screws too tightly to start with. Just get them in there and see I've left a bit of give there because we can tighten it all, tighten all six screws at the end. Okay, so now you should have your kiosk nice and sturdy together, all screwed together. Just a couple of little things to do here. Uh, firstly is the camera arm. See it's out like this. What we want to do is bring that in nice and snug to uh, make the camera fit. Now see there's a little hand here, so you loosen that like so, and then bring it around and just kind of find a nice snug fit like that, and that'll hold the camera nicely in place at the front there, so it's not wiggling around. Then the other step is we need to attach the camera cord USB to the computer here. And if you see in here, there's a little uh, USB thing there. We need to open that and then put that to the side. And you can see we've created a little gap so you can do that. And then you can put your USB plug right in here. Now it takes a wee bit of wiggling around. But if you put it in like that, and make sure it's in there nice and firm. And once again, because before you kept your cable tidy like that, yeah, that can just sit there quite nicely like that. You've got a nice tidy cable. And there you go. Ta-da. You have photo kiosk assembled. So this probably should have taken us five or ten minutes. Nice and simple. And you're ready to go. Right. You would have received a steel post like this in the mail. Um, now first thing to do is it's got a couple of screws in here. And what we're going to do is that we're actually going to replace those screws. So in one of the bags you'll see the, the one of the bags came with an Allen key in it. So take these two sort of flat headed screws and these are the ones with the hexagonal allen key part. So they're the ones that fit that pretty much. So we're just going to swap these out. So remove this screw like that and put in the one with the allen key part like that and do this for both. Now what you're going to do is we're going to screw them in reasonably close to the edge and just leave two or three millimetres there, um, just out so you haven't screwed them in really tight. And once again, remove this bottom screw like this. And replace with a Allen key head screw, one of these again. And there's only two of them, so they should be pretty easy to find. Now it's time to get the post powered up. So what you're going to need is to get the power adapter for the computer. Now the power adapter will be in the, in the bottom of the box, so have a bit of a rummage around and you should find it. It's a long adapter like this, so open it up like that. This end obviously will go into the computer, and this is your power end. So to keep things nice and tidy, because you're a retail stop, we'll take the power end of the power cord, and we're going to feed it through here. So just go like this. If you have to adjust that screw, but you should be fine, and just feed it in slowly like that, and gravity should take it down. Obviously putting in the power box as well, like so, and yeah, and then just get rid of some of the extra cord 
just like that. So you'll have essentially a post with this cord coming out of it. Okay, the next step to making sure we have power is getting your power plugged in. So what you need to do is turn your post over like so. And there you go, magically the power cords come out. Now obviously this power cord would be too short to reach the wall. So there should be an extension cord in your pack here, just like this. And plug in the end here to the power cord. And the cool thing is these little feet here, um, they, they mean that our cord can, can run out quite safely. Um, on, the note, on the purpose of those feet, if you are on an uneven surface, you can adjust these slightly to stop the kiosk wiggling. Now, before you go and stand up, you don't really want this join hanging out in the shop because um, it's trip hazard. So if you put the kiosk down again, what we recommend is just hiding the join up in the kiosk here, just like this. And then when you put the kiosk down, you only have one power, power line coming out and it's nice and safe. And you can tape that down or do whatever you need to to make sure that's safe. Okay, next step is to get the kiosk head unit up onto the kiosk post. Now remember when we put these Allen key screws in, get them in reasonably close like that, so there's a, only a couple of meters, millimeters gap. And then we're gonna grab the kiosk like this and then just let this post, so this hole and this hole are gonna go on the screws. And see this little part up here? The screw's gonna rest in there. So put the big part of the hole over like that and then let it drop down. And then you see it drops down and you can see that the bracket is held in place fairly sturdily there. Then go back to your plastic bag the one that had the Allen key in it, grab the Allen key and tighten up here just like this. Cords in the road, but nice and tight like that, just so that the thing's not going to move. Now, look, the chaos still does have a little bit of give if you move it from side to side, and that's because we don't want it too rigid. Then we're just about there. You've only got one more task to do, which is plug power up the computer. So as you can see from earlier, you've got your power cord hanging out here. What you need to do is bring it round to here. There's a plug under here. And as you can see, there's a little hole in there. So just take the plug, put it in like that. And then really important that you make sure you close it snugly. So there you go, push it right in like that, put that to the side, and there you go, you're pretty much done. Now ideally, you will have this photo kiosk with, a, with its back to a wall, um, because this, this area is all nicely skinned, whereas the back area, um, you know, it's plain plastic and that type of thing. But there she goes, it's just like that, and then next steps will be powering it on. Cool, so now you just about done. If we go back to our equipment, you should have used most of it by now. So obviously you had your out of the computer box, you took the tablet and also the power cord. Um, there is a keyboard in there, but if you could leave that snugly packaged in there um, and send it back when we're done. Um, obviously you've used your camera, you should have used all the screws, your extension cord, your bracket's gone up. You'll have one last box, which is this little mobile Wi-Fi unit. So open up the box, three things. I've just got the Wi-Fi unit, the cord, and a power cord. So you'll just need to find a place in the shop um, where this can live. Um, obviously, it needs to be powered to give um, keep giving Wi-Fi. So plug it in like this. There's a little part here, and there's a power button here. And it'll take a few seconds to power up, but once it is powered up, you should see a reading like this. It should say Telecom New Zealand, and you can see some little numbers and that type of stuff. Plug it in. And yeah, go and find somewhere in the shop that's reasonably close to the kiosk, and this can provide you with your Wi-Fi. Alternatively, if you've got a strong Wi-Fi connection um, in the shop, you can connect up to that, but your computer and kiosk is pre-programmed to... Uh, to connect to this Wi-Fi and should do, do so automatically. So it'll probably just make your life easier to hook up with this. All right, and that's it.